the next one on the list is Cata Cypher. Um, so I've done a, a side view of this Cata because I think that's the best way of learning it from a side view. And then I've also filmed some uh, close up parts um, so that you can see the detail of the Cata. Hopefully it's enough for you to do some great home practice. Cypher. Okay, so the start of Cypher, stepping out on an angle, stepping up, pulling hands across, leaning the elbow first and striking. Then repeat, and repeat, then stepping across, bringing the knee up to the knee strike, toes back, kick. This hand should be gripping it here. Hand should be level, elbow should be tucked in. Push across, arm comes over, elbow rises, strike. Okay, keeping this as straight as you can here. Let's look at that a bit faster. And faster. Okay, give that a try. In this middle section of the cat we step across, opening our hands, opening the centre line, sweep the knee up so the hand is next to the knee, this one is level with the shoulder, toes pointing down, pull the toes back, kick, step across, turn my kick, so I keep the centre line, switching again, knee up again, toes down. Toes back, kick. Okay, notice on there that I didn't let the top half of my body move before I kick. Don't go and move your body when you kick. Keep this still. That's really bad for this That's probably the trickiest part of Cat Cypher. So give that lots of practice and let's see what it looks like. There's some detail on this part of the cancer. We throw our hand up over the top of our head, striking down, tetsui strike. Fingertip, bottom, bottom finger first, little finger first, bottom finger, whatever you want to call it. Pulling sharply and strike short punch. Okay, and then repeat the other side, lifting above your head. Striking, opening, and strike. This is something you can repeat at home in front of a mirror, just standing in Heikadach as I am now, and just striking one after the other. Some of those were good, some of those were bad. Okay, you try it, see if you can do better than me. 